Welcome back. We stay on a field run for our next match. We are back to the men's open division and it is England taking on South Africa. This is a really crucial match in the men's open division. South Africa are currently sitting third on the table with England in fourth. So both teams are still hopeful that they might be able to clinch that number two spot that is required to get into the semi-finals. Japan currently sit in second, but teams are very close and there's still chances for those three sides to get the second spot. South Africa, they're attacking nicely here to start this match. They turn it back onto the inside. They're within the five. Look at the speed here of South Africa. Nice ball movement. They get underneath. Yeah, they get the opening touchdown of the match. What a start here for South Africa. The ball movement across the field was fantastic. Really impressive there. And England let the first touchdown of the match in. So, yeah, as mentioned, the Japanese side sitting second. The Australians are on top of the ladder here in Pool A. They're undefeated at the moment. And when England played Japan, they drew two all. And their other loss has come against the Australians for South Africa. Only one loss on the board at the moment. And that was against Japan. They lost that game 5-3. So, yeah, the three sides, England, South Africa, and Japan. All vying for that spot. Beautiful ball out there on that uh, heading towards the right hand side from Tripp he goes the uh, bat on as well it's been picked off from the South Africans and they're back onto the attack so they're playing with plenty of speed and intensity so far England couldn't come up with anything on their first possession so they're well over the halfway line now look how they've transitioned out of their sub box here the South Africans now yeah, I thought he might have actually been acting half on that previous play. I might be incorrect. My apologies if I was. That was Vandenberg. And driving him. They turn the ball over in England. And back on the attack. That's a nice drive. Look at the contact there from Dominic Tripp. He has a big dive as he works his way off to the field. Interchanges now on for England. This is better for them. Pennington driving in. They pick up from half. They're into the in-goal area here. Can they connect up? They flick it back on the inside. And Melling just couldn't find any support. The England players all holding their line and heading towards the right-hand corner. South Africa hold out again. Nice drive here down the sideline. Oh, it almost got away from them in the roll ball. Did well just to hold that up. Cole Thompson went back and picked the ball up. They crab across the field. Looking a little disjointed in this set here. South Africa, they straighten back up now through the middle. That's good contact. Nothing wrong with that. Beat the player to the bend there, Slamang. Dancing around. Look at the footwork here. Slamang gets the ball back. Does he look to switch on the inside? No, he keeps it on to the outside. This is going to be a late pass here. Ramiz, Ramiz Osman. Enterprising, though. I thought they might have looked to switch back on the inside, but they continued to raid the short side and down this left-hand side defence of the English. As they cross the halfway, now Sam Jones. And there's been an error picked up here from the referee. And Curtis Sankey officiating in the middle at the moment. Great job from Curtis, young man from southwest Queensland and refereeing a men's open match here at the World Cup. Uh, South Africa, again, ball movement. They've got changes coming on the field, so they'll just look to readjust here and take some touches to get themselves going forward. Nice dancing work. They had numbers. They turn it back onto the inside. They'll look to roll and phase, but the referees actually found an error. A forward pass is the call. Again, danger signs for England when South Africa are attacking the line. They just haven't managed to get another touchdown onto the board as of yet. Score is 1-0 here in this men's open round robin match between Australia and New Zealand. Uh, Australia and, oh, I've been a little bit rattled. My apologies. It's England and South Africa. Now, there was big contact made there. And Matthew Watt. The big man out there on the right-hand side and copping a shot. He moves into half now. 
Sarah Cole dishes to Watt. There's hands in there, so six more touches. Nordian getting his hands on the ball from South Africa. So six more touches here to England. Watt with the ball again. Hamish Jones, he looks to sweep around the back. Jones gets the ball now. Oh, he looks to get on the outside with that two-on-one. Almost picked that one off. Six again here to England. More pressure on South Africa. Watt drives in again. They skip across in front of Jones. They look to go one-on-one. -on -one and touch made there on Sarah Cold. Jones, they dish out, Jones is sweeping around the back, they're going to go away from him, but they give away a penalty again, South Africa, so three repeat sets here for England, attacking the South Africans, they're searching for their opening touchdown of the match, again, Jones goes around that right hand side, there's space and available to the English, diving effort, oh, touch made there, big touch there. Nguani really had to get going to make the touch, and he does. They switch back on the inside. Nguani's there to answer the call again. So England still, they can't crack the South African defence. Now into the in-goal areas. White looks to link up and does beautifully. So again, they continue to have sweeper plays going left and right. Hamish Jones is racking up the kilometres early on in this match. They go against him again, and Watt moves in from half. He's looked good so far, Matthew Watt. They send it over, and England have responded nicely. We're back level now. It's one a touchdown apiece between England and South Africa, and I think this is exactly how this match is going to go. It's going to be really close throughout the match. South Africa... And back on the attack, they turn it back onto the inside. They're driving in it nicely with Giroli. Into the in-goal area again, so good speed, and I think he might have got that down. The referee is uh, claiming touch. Yeah, uh, the crowd is not happy. Now, there's a bit of communication happening between the England players and the referees. Referee having a little chat here. I'm not too sure what they're discussing on the field, yeah, 50-50 call, really close. The South African fans weren't happy. That was a good turn of speed from Jason Vandenberg to get into the in-goal area. It's still dancing around. Vandenberg drives in. They come back into the middle of the field now. Nice left foot step. Can he get on the outside? No, he can't, so they hold out. Good job there from England. It was panic stations when Vandenberg got into the in-goal area. They're trying to muscle up a little bit of a juggle there from Hobson. Still going. Nice momentum. Look at him drive into the line here. England with Jones. Now Sam Jones is in the 15. Hamish Jones in the 9. Two Joneses for the English. They drive in. They look to shape. He's got into the goal area again. They switch back on the inside. But touch made. So England now also looking dangerous through their dummy half running. South Africa transitioning to their interchange box with Schlupp. Nice drive forward again. <laughs> Lang, yeah, they turn it over, unfortunately. So just shy of that 10 metre line. They cross it now. Oh, almost uh, no touch given away. There must have been contact between uh, the two players. They head more midfield now with Pennington. Pennington driving forward again. England, they've gone into the in-goal area again. Have they linked up with Pennington? Did he get the ball down? Just looking to see what the referees call. It's a lot of communication. I think he's going to back up and award this touchdown. So it's number two on the board for England and perfect timing as Greg Cropper from England Touch joins me for this match. And England, they've worked their way nicely back into this match. They've got two touchdowns in a row. Yeah, the, it's getting hot out there, but the boys are looking strong. That was a good finish at the end there, so see if they can keep this set out. All to play for in this game against South Africa now. 
So South Africa, they come back to the right-hand side. That's Cole Thompson with the ball. Brockman in the half, back to Thompson. They come back into the middle of the field. Nice drive in. They got the sweep coming around the back. They go against Grain. Lamb and turns it back to Girori. And Girori again. Thompson working together. Oh, nice little flick ball on the outside. Can they create the overlap here? Nice. England scrambled nicely. So they went in the little trick play there, South Africa. Fifth touch on the line here. Have they got anything they can do in this corner? Yeah, so good, uh, good work there from England. They defended well after scoring the touchdown on the previous set. Just need a good drive and a good transition off this note. That's unfortunate though in the middle. Just a flick touch on the back there on Mimzek. And they give away a penalty. And South Africa were looking to, to get on with it. And uh, Meekin just getting around and trying to slow that one down. But six touches here to South Africa. That's great shooting defense from Dom Tripp there. Just shutting down that play early doors. So Osmond driving in there right on the point. Osmond tries to get down low. Well, they've missed the touch here, so yeah, probably a touch that needed to be made or in position to be able to make it. But uh, Osman with the stretching dive underneath levels us back up at two touchdowns apiece. So both teams, they can't be separated at the moment. And as Greg mentioned, the temperature is really starting to rise now, isn't it, in the last half an hour or so, and the sun's coming through, and the conditions are really testing out there for the players. Hamish Jones now with the ball. He pops back on the inside. They just take the pressure back off. Jones driving out. They look for the wraparound play. Easy pass into the middle to Watts. South Africa just keeping him out there on the last touch. Jordan Mallon's long ball either side here. See what he's got. Unfortunate there. Yeah, they turn the ball over. Yeah. yeah he's tapped. Yeah, I was just going to say, Greg, he tapped the ball there. I didn't see the referee indicate that there was a penalty at all. So they've restarted the play incorrectly here and they're going to turn the ball straight back over to England. Yeah, it was just it was just ball down. There was nothing there's no penalty there. So fatal error possibly here if England can capitalize this. Pennington dumps the ball. Mellon on the ball now. Passive line out. Oh. The South African winger try stopping touch there in the middle just getting just stopping that ball out to the winger. Just made it again. I think if they run this same play again, Scott, it's probably going to go long. Yeah, Malouf, two big plays out on the left-hand wing for South Africa. He shut down two opportunities. And Jones, will he? Yeah, he holds on to it this time. So Hamish Jones had the opportunity to set one up. He was shut down from the South African defence on the previous one. But they come back to Hamish Jones this time. Summed it up perfectly. Gets down nice and low. And England, they take the lead back. The score's now 3-2. So South Africa will get us back underway. Tap off at the halfway line. They trudge forward again. Ramiz Osman, a big number six for South Africa. A little disjointed there on the second touch. And they're just walking at the moment. And they bring the sweeper around the back, but they must have a set piece in play here. They come away from the short side, send it back in. They're within the five. They're in trouble there. Now, it looked like the South African player might have just got tangled with the England player, but he was trying to progress backwards to the line. It wasn't deliberate. They turned the ball over. Yeah, nice defence there from Slamang. Coming up to make that touch, but England, and they're rolling through the middle. A little fake switch from Watt. They come back to this right-hand side. They try to get on the outside. Why not? Looks like he's got plenty of speed out there on that right-hand side for England. They come back into the middle of the field now. Sarah Cole oh, looking a little bit 
Disjointed with the passes. There's not too many options here for England. Yeah, they look to go the short one. Might have. Probably should have gone out the back potentially on that case, but it looked like South Africa were well covered. So England, they get players on the field. They were one short on that occasion. Sam Jones making his way onto the field now. That's Jones making the touch. They go left side again, South Africa. They're back into the middle. They've got changes coming onto the field. Again, looking a little bit disjointed. They head to that left-hand side, but they didn't transition well out when there was interchanges coming onto the field then, South Africa. Just the last five minutes, or the last couple of minutes of this game's got five minutes to go until half-time. You can see people are tiring. A few errors creeping into the game from both sides of the, of the park now. As England, they've had the, the better of the rubber, the green, in the last five or so minutes of oh, defensive pressure. That was close to being over one. the mark. Yeah, good call, Greg. They've still got the ball here, England. They make the touch. Oh, and they're going to get a penalty. So, yeah, this could be a, a bit of a game-changing uh, moment here for England. It definitely looked over the mark in that previous play there for England. It did. So I think they were looking to get away with that, but hopefully they can capitalise it. Mimzik. Diving at the line, but... Mims are kind of 75 cap for England in this game. That's a great so effort. How, how old is he? He still looks quite young. Uh, yeah, he's, I think he's 30 this year, 31 maybe. So he's, um, yeah, he's, been, he's played mixed open for the last... Well, this is the first time I've played men's, I think. Uh, played mixed open. We've changed the way that it's been structured in England over the last two years. We've had a high-performance squad of men and women as opposed to training as men, women and mixed... Um, so this year, the, the kind of the teams were picked specifically for men's and women's in the early stages. Um, so yeah, he, he's, he's changed from being a specialist mixed player to um, into this men's team, and he's really come on this season, making a big difference. Uh, they're into the in-goal area again. That looks like Hamish Maybe Jones. Is, yes, connects up beautiful. So Hamish Jones has. Really put an impact into this game over the last five or so minutes for England scoring a touchdown but setting one up himself. We've got an injured player in the in-goal area here for South Africa. Doesn't look quite good but nice work there from Hamish Jones to get another touchdown from England. He'd be happy with that. 75th cap and scoring in a must-win game. Yeah, they'll just hold the play up until the injured player from South Africa makes his way up. He goes into the in-goal area now. It's Nordian. 4-2 is the score. England up at the moment, so this is the biggest margin that they've had so far in the match, leading by two. So big defensive set required here. England will be looking to keep that two, two um, point ahead going into half time with a couple of minutes to go as Clark Hobson making the touches there Will Silicon chases another good touch by Hobson that's fifth yeah, nice. looking to trans transition now drive get to the box get fresh legs on there's some tired bodies out there yeah, it was nice work from South Africa. Got the big, deep switch as they juggle it off the flat ball. And South Africa on the previous play is England, and they've turned it over. There's been a call from the sideline referee here. So I think it might have been the ball that I called flat was actually forward. Fair call to, I think, in the end. So South Africa, they will be looking to reduce the margin going into the halftime break. They've got good field position here. The touch box. Still making a few changes. They drive into the line now. They're just short of the five. Early ball from half. Comes off the left foot. Open up beautifully there. Ramiz Osman, he has been really good for the South Africans in the first half. And that's exactly what England didn't want going into the halftime break. A touchdown to South Africa. As the clock's running down, less than probably one minute in this half. Gabe Pennington to tap off. So Pennington gets the ball back again. There's still time here for England to get that two touchdown lead, but the ball is spilled out and the referee's just going to say ball down. There's a bit of protest 
from the English side, but South Africa here, look, they're straight back onto the ball. Contact in the middle of the ruck now. He's called ball down as well, so they turned it over. The onus is on the ball carrier to get the ball down in the ruck, and looks like he just got beaten to the bend on that occasion. Looks like a bit of karma from the first one, I think, though. Quick, two quick changes over. And a touch made uh, there on Hamish Jones. What an entertaining first half here in this crucial men's open match. We go to the halftime break. England four, South Africa three.
And we're back out on field one for the second half of this men's open match between England and South Africa. England went to the break with a one a touchdown lead advantage. This current score is 4-3. But if anything, it, from the first half is uh, taken into the second half. It's still going to be a really entertaining match. And it's a crucial match, as you mentioned a few times, Greg. Yep, 100% England will be looking to capitalise on this. They need to win this game. Um, and then it'll all come down to points difference to make a semi-final spot, which is what they've been aiming for. I think he's got it. A diving score there by Will Stoicold puts them two ahead from the tap-off. Oh, brilliant start there for England, but what a take to score that touchdown. Had every right to spill that ball, but got hands onto it. That's a fantastic finish for England. Yeah, as Greg mentioned, they got the lead by two. The score is now 5-3, England over South Africa. South Africa, they get us back underway. Ramiz Osman, keep an eye out for him. Number six, and on the right link, they sweep around the back. Nordian, here he is, Ramiz Osman drives in, gets the ball back, but Hamish Jones comes up out of the line, but a little bit too quickly for the referee's liking, and penalty given, and six more touches to South Africa. So they sweep around left here. Ramiz Osman looks to dive in on it. No, yeah, touch has been you know, a little bit of confusion. Yeah, he's good honesty here. And Matthew White telling the referees that he didn't make the touch. So good sportsmanship, but it's a touchdown on the board to South Africa. Five, four. This is where England need to turn it on now. They tapped off from the halfway line just two minutes ago and scored. They'll be looking to do the same thing again now as Tripp drives it up into what? Sweeper by Phillips. Gets it away. Miles Partridge into the corner. Slides one in for England. That's 6-4. Yeah, beautiful finish again. They moved the ball nicely there, but the finish was really impressive. It just kind of popped up. It had a little bit of time to go back and grab it, but the nice low dive to finish that off. Got the ball in one hand and slid over nicely, and they Look at Miles Partridge is seven foot, seven foot tall, so he slid in from eight metres out there. Yeah, good point, Greg. It always helps when your arms are that long. Slide under, did it perfectly. But South Africa, they are back on... Attack here. And touch made on Vandenberg. He's been really good so far in this match. Had a lot of runs from dummy half. Let's see if they set up here for Vandenberg. He sets it back on the inside. Here he is, but he dishes. They come off the left foot. It might open up. They go the bat on play, but uh, they couldn't connect up. The winger was there early. No chance of batting that one away. Vaughn Meredith uh, coming in from the wing. So let's see if they go direct. Hamish Jones, yeah, straightens them back up. But they will come to the interchange box. Good metres here, but they just go away from the half. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact. The referee says to play the ball. So Ben Meekin does that. And again, they drive forward with Strain this time. They turn back onto the inside. Pay on, nice touch made on the fifth. Nordian, they turn the ball over. And South Africa, they're coming out of their end now. Here, yeah, looking to go straight through the middle. Look at this rucking that they've got. Yeah, they've turned it over. I was just going to say, as they roll that ball, they didn't really have any support players there as they were making changes, the South Africans, but an error and almost giving away a ruck penalty as well. England, they're going to be in really good attacking position now. Pennington. Just coaxing the South African defence out. Nice touch. Made on Melling. So Melling and Pennington working in the middle. Drives in now. Just puts the foot down, goes the goose step. A touch made on Jordan Melling. There's actually a penalty given away here and they progress up the field for not giving the ball back. Just a silly penalty that one, Scott. 
Just a bit of discipline required in that moment. So South Africa, they've got changes. The big deep switch to the support player coming on the field. Choosing to go on the outside. He's got speed to burn. He's going away with this. Big dive, but no, couldn't be picked up. Well, what about the speed there of Ferdinand Brockman? Just went on the outside, one-on-one. -on -one. He just came onto the field as well. That might be a game-changing moment there. We're back level here, six all. No, my apologies. It's 6-5. Five, five. England is still in front. England, they tap back off with Sarah Cole. Just has to go back to the mark a little bit. There's a penalty given here, so a little bit of infringement. Yeah, slapping at the ball. I mean, the call there from the referee. So they've got time up their sleeve here. Matthew Watts back on the field, just directing traffic at the moment. Watt gets the ball back. Very composed player is Matt Watts. Oh, and almost picked off there. They look to go a little sneaky short side play down that left-hand side. they got hands to the ball. We've got six touches to go on the line now, so we'd look, like to see three good attempts at a score here. There's six more touches. It took a deflection off South Africa. It's come off the hand, so again, another full complement of touches. Uh, to England, and touch made there. Luani is coming up to put the touch on. Hamish Jones drives in. They go right, they go left, and he's dummy half there. So early in the touch count, count Greg, uh, there really wasn't many options going there. Probably wasn't the right play for England. It was a shame that England should definitely have been capitalising on that. A couple of safer players rather than scooping on the first or second touch there, Scott, I think would have been a better option. But here we go in defence now, see what they can, if they can keep the South Africans out of their half. It looks like they're doing a good job so far, while the South Africans are still coming onto the field. Uh, again. Good just disruptive touch there by Sarah Cord in the middle. Yeah, well called. Cool. They're just, just throwing the football around now, they look to switch in. This is where they can be dangerous. The South Africans get the ball back early. Right foot comes in. Yeah. Oh, a touch made. Yeah, I think he might. He was thinking he got that one down, but that was a huge defensive touch there from England. And the contact is starting to creep into the game a little bit. And they quick tap and they just go on. So no problems, no real niggle. And back-to-back -back penalties. So hooking is the call. And it's getting a little bit Messi out there now. South Africa, they've got to compose. They're down by one. The score is 6-5. England are in front. This must-win match for these two teams. And South Africa, they're looking to get some pressure on it defensively. Phillips. If you touch now, so that's not what you want coming into the last touch. They look to switch. Can they create something just on this short side? They can't. But they finish off in the corner, but again, they're just not quite finishing their sets off at the moment, are they, Greg? No, which is unfortunate. There's, you'd have liked to have seen a, a strike dump there, but it was unfortunate that the one that they had was already fifth, so Phillips just had a go, left it on England's box side, the furthest place away from the South Africans' substitution box to try and slow the, keep their players on, basically, to tire them out. Yeah, it's one area that South Africa have really struggled in this second half is when they're getting players coming onto the field. They're leaving their on-field players stranded. It's taking quite a lot, uh, quite some time for them to rejoin the attacking line. They need to readjust that. Partridge with the ball again. They're trying to plead for forward passes here, South Africa. They don't get the forward, but they'll get the ball back because they pushed the pass. They really didn't need to be passed. No, again... This is where the composure needs to come in, Scott. When, it, when players are tired, you just need to relax, try and just ease into that game. But a bit of panic coming, setting in into both teams, I think. So still plenty of time on the clock. There's 10 minutes. We're just at under 10 and a half minutes left on the clock. So time and this will help. Penalty for South Africa. 
So they tap off here with six touches. Ismail Slamang dishes. And Slamang will get back in the half. Goes early from the dummy half position by South Africa. Oh, they have gotten a penalty. There's a four sub here. So if they can tap and go, they would need to try and take advantage while this play is coming back onto the field. But they choose to just take their time. Now, actually, the England player, they've been told that they can't replace at the moment. So they are defending with five. They're going to give away another penalty here. And there's another one going to the bin. So they're actually down to four at the moment. They've got to go, South Africa. They've got no choice. It's six on four. They've got this to go. A, this, this one should be allowed back on, though. The first one was a penalty because it was a second in a, in a row. That one was just a foul. Um, so, yeah, they can replace this player now. So, yeah, it's still six on five. They're dancing around and they're still holding on here, England. If they can hold out in this set, that might be the most pivotal moment of the match. But South Africa, they're still just taking their time to attack. They've got to run to try and find the overlap. And they still can't. It's the last touch now. England players are pleading with the referees to get them to run and play the ball. And they've turned it over. The crowd goes up. That's a huge defensive set there for England. The player should be allowed back on now, Scott. I don't know why England have not got that sixth player on. And they get Here a penalty as well. All six are back on now. Penalty for the big touch. This is the set where England definitely need to get into the the opposition's half. Mimzik, so recalled. Down for Mellon. Mimzik again. Just Here's a strike. In. Here's a strike. Melin Long. Yeah. Oh! It's all clear. The he's referee's it. happy. Well, wow. like he's giving it. They're having a conversation. It's all clear. That puts England two ahead. Just less than eight minutes to go. That was a massive touchdown there, Scott, for England. Oh, well, listen to the crowd absolutely getting behind their team. What a huge couple of minutes there for England, having to defend with players off the field. They should have taken advantage, South Africa. They didn't. England get the ball. They get a penalty. They go down the other end and put a touchdown on. Massive moments in this match. I'm not sure whether South Africa can come back from that. There's still seven and a half minutes left on the clock. Now they get into the end goal. They switch back on the inside, but they couldn't get their hands on the football. England, they hold out again. They lead 7-5 in this match. And they now just working towards their sub box. They'll definitely be looking to get some changes on. It was a huge couple of minutes in defence and attack for the England side. They're well over the halfway line. And driving in is Matthew Trip White. Picks up, steps on the outside of him. He's got the gas. Just need to find a player. Matt Watt in the back. Just didn't have the legs. Wow. That was exactly the right play. They really ran into the Ingall area and ran out of space. Just lobbed it up in the hope that the support player was there. And he almost was for England. A penalty here to South Africa. Players offside. Uh, they give away the penalty, but that just gives England a chance to reset their defensive line at the same time. They've crossed the halfway line. South Africa, you almost feel they need to score a touchdown in this set to try and get themselves back into the game and get some momentum. They're on the run here. They come back off the right foot and touch mate there on Schlupp and put him down to the ground. Just got himself a little bit wrong-footed. There wasn't really too much else into that touch. They give early ball again, and they're disjointed. They're just firing the long ball in the hopes. It's gone forward out of the hands for sure. The referee agrees, and they hold out again here, England. But, yeah, Greg, they just haven't really got any attacking options at the moment. They've gone away from what was working for them in the first half, South Africa. 100%. I think they've run out of options, and there's a few tired bodies out there now. 35 minutes outside in this heat will do that to any player. So they kick on, just crabbing across the field, taking as many metres as they can, Ben Meekin. They're just happy to pull the play up. There's a bit of pressure coming through the middle in defence here for South Africa. Then, yeah, they should run Mellon, back at him. Melon to pick up. 
<laughs> it's just got a, a hard think, push. <laughs> now the referee, oh, he's actually going to blow the penalty. So that's really ill discipline from South Africa. I think it was Jason Schlupp. There's who absolutely made the touch. no need for that either, Scott. The touch was clearly made. Melon had realised that he'd not been able to get rid of that ball. That was ill discipline, 100%. Yeah, those this are is things. where they need to capitalise on this now. Mimzek on the ball. He's got the slide dive. Yeah, Jory making the touch there. No problems. They slid nicely in the fence. Still four to go here for England. They score another touchdown I here. Think it could he's be the nail have in the coffin. Touches oh. in first. So they're going to go back, have another go. And still more seconds off the clock. Four minutes 20 left in this match. England, they come right side. Dives in underneath. Touch made. A big touch made there on Pennington. And they roll on the five. Hamish Jones goes into half, sends it left. Will they look to switch in? They do. Jones holds the ball, but... They at least complete the set. They've still got that two touchdown lead. And strong contact there. Play on is the call. It's getting a little bit heated out there at the moment between these two teams. The referee's just going to pull this one up again. England. They give back-to-back -back offside penalties away in their last two defensive sets. And again, there's contact. So both sides... It's getting pretty heated. Oh, they've turned the ball over. It just went behind the back of Slomang. Three and a half minutes to go, Scott. That could have been quite costly for the South Africans, South Africans at this stage. To score a deficit. They would definitely like to a strike at the line in that set. They won't get many more. Hamish Jones just takes it left. They come back into the middle, Hobson. They kick out here. They look, it's taken a deflection. Oh, look to go gone. back on the inside. Uh, six more touches. So it was flicked back on the inside, Partridge. It must have come off one of the South African defenders at the same time as well. Did take that initial deflection. So good work from Partridge. He scored a really impressive touchdown earlier on, a huge touchdown. And England. Six more here, two and a half minutes left on the clock. They'll take their time. They won't do anything too radical. This is just seconds off the clock at the moment. They roll in. They're about seven metres out from the line. They fire a nice ball. Good defence coming in from the right-hand side. Hang up, making the touch. But again, another penalty. This is just working into the hands of England now. This is where the composure comes now, Scott. Yeah, they don't need to do anything silly here, England. They can just hold the ball and roll. But as we say that, they've turned the ball over. There's a penalty. So over the mark. Yeah, tough call. It was unfortunate. But it definitely needs to... That's what they need to tighten up on, Scott. That's what they're saying. This is where they need to capitalise on those chances. Get six full attacks at the line. Bit of discipline. People are tired. Yeah, it's South Africa again. This has been the theme for them in the second half. They just can't transition out of their sub box. Nice footwork. Oh, they're going to get six more touches. We're down to one minute 20 on the clock. They're still down by two. They've got to go early here. They probably can't burn too many touches trying to set up here, South Africa. I think the clock's going to be too far against them. They look to sweep around. They go the big hop, skip and the jump throw. Yeah, coming in to shut that one down. John Strain. And a penalty again. So under a minute now, South Africa. England defence. Standing strong. They drive early ball from half. They show and go. Oh, yeah, he's got that one. Gets underneath. That's Slomang getting that touchdown. Nice work. But 35 seconds on the clock. This will be the slowest walk back to the halfway line you'll ever see from England. Yeah, the attacking team coming on now. Meekin, number 12 there. We've got the long ball. 13, Ryan Mimzik with the slide. They've got plenty of options to come now. 
running down the court. They just need to get up to the line. Keep hold of the ball for six. Ten seconds on the clock. They just got to hold it. They throw it back on the inside. Just hold it, boys. They're still running. They want to get another one. Hamish Jones. And they roll the ball. This will be the last touch. They'll go out and just shake hands. That's a huge win in this competition for England. They stay alive in the men's open competition. And they did it. They managed to hold on in the end, Greg. Yeah, very well done. In the end, 100% the, re the result that they required. He's down to the Japan versus Australia game on the other fields now. And then after that, it will all come down to points in this division. So, yeah, as you say, Scott, the, the, um, the dreams of the life, that semi-final spot tomorrow morning but yeah good I think a good um, all round game by both teams like you said there's a lot of uh, tired bodies out there composure at the end by both teams a bit of ill discipline coming in from both sides but good result good result there for England it was definitely one that was required England keep the dream alive for that semi-final spot. The final score in this men's open round robin game is England 7, South Africa 6.